fast, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Fans have been shopping trades for their 11 year vet quarterback, Matt Stafford. However, Lions GM Bob Quinn addressed the speculation quickly after it was reported, saying it was, quote, 100% false. The first eight games of last season showed promise in the 32-year-old quarterback's comeback season, throwing 19 TDs and five picks. However, Stafford was hurt, missed the second half of the season. The Lions didn't make the playoffs. They have made it to the playoffs only three times in 11 years with Stafford and have not won a playoff game. Rob Parker, you're our Detroit guy. Should the Lions move on from Matt Stafford? Absolutely. And, you know, I know there's all the, the uh, dead money and all these other things. I'm just saying, if you're just going on, should you do something different at quarterback? Totally Let's good. just go there. Absolutely, Greg and, and, and Jason. The Lions, look at where they are. He was the first overall pick, had Calvin Johnson. We could go on. And Dominican Sue was on that team at one point. They just, he hasn't lived up to it. Does he have a big arm? Absolutely. Has he put up, put up big numbers? Absolutely. You see what he just said? He only had Calvin Johnson. And you put Adama Sue. He played defense. You need more than one target. Yeah, he had Calvin Johnson. Maybe trying to get double team sometimes. You need more than one guy. To help a quarterback. It's all about who you put your quarterback around. Who you surround him about. If you do move on for him, whoever you bring in, you got to bring in some skill guys to go around your quarterback to help him. Be successful. Yeah, I know he's been there 11 years, but Detroit haven't brought in the right guys around to be able to help this team go to the playoffs year after year and go deep into the playoffs. It's all about up top who they drag or who they bring in to surround anyone they bring in at that quarterback position. But the bottom line is they haven't been able to win. You just said it, 11 years, and they've never won a division since it became the NFC North, never won a division. Stafford is 0-3 in playoff games. And there were situations and circumstances where he could have been that guy and delivered them. Do you remember the Dallas playoff game? There was a bad call in that game. They I got remember the, it. I they lost got, money on that they game. They got the ball back with two and a half minutes to go and a couple timeouts. He was, he's from suburban Dallas. There was his moment to march them down the field, win that game, right, and move on. Didn't happen. Four and out. The Lions, the reason that this franchise has won one playoff game in the last, since 1957. Imagine that in a league built on parity. One playoff win, 1991 against the Cowboys, since 1957. They keep doing the same thing. They're in love with Matthew Stafford because they're afraid to be, that, that he at least gives them the chance to be 9-7 and seven or 8-8 eight and, eight and be in the mix, even though he hasn't delivered them. There was a time a couple of years ago against Green Bay. They could have won the division at home against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Again, a no-show in the biggest game of the year at home. All I'm saying is the Lions should think about it. They have the third overall pick. Two is there. Maybe decide that you're going to go in a different direction. He hasn't gotten it done in 11 years okay. in Detroit. So uh, Matthew Stafford has not gotten it done, says Rob Parker. Rob, I'm going to ask you, in 2014, who led the NFL in comeback game-winning drives? Who, which quarterback led the NFL? Take a gander. Just take a guess. What year? Matt Stafford, 2014. Was that the playoff run that they who went to the NFC Championship Who led the NFL Championship in game game-winning <laughs> comeback drives in 2016? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm leading up to it. 2016, Matthew Stafford. 2017, three years in the last six years, he led the NFL in game-winning comeback drives. Time out. Matthew Stafford, it's not his fault. His defense has been inept, horrible, embarrassing. Matt Patricia was hired to fix this unit. They were 32nd in the league this year. He has played with bottom 12 defenses for the last four years. Matt Stafford cannot do this by himself. Nope. No one in any sport could do anything by themselves. 
is how you build your team to help a guy out. He can't play defense. That defense hasn't really been that good. They can't stop anyone. On the offensive side, who do he really have besides Galladay and um Jones? It's like he need more guys around him. It's all about who can you build your team around him. It's all about up top ownership, GMs. They need to build a team right to help him. Because nobody in any sport can do anything by yourself. So everyone needs help. And Rob Hart, I like, man, just do it by yourself. Like, oh, I can play offense and defense. They bring in Matt Patricia to fix that defense. And you only 32nd? And you a defensive minded coach. And that defense still ain't got it together. But he can. There is no way, no how, the Detroit Lions should move on from Matt Stafford in the final point. The trade doesn't make financial sense. They will have $32 million in dead aside money. Aside from that, we already know that there's a financial. I'm saying. If you draft two and decide no. to move on from him or do this something team is, different, I'm telling you, I'm going to go. You're I'm not going to. You're not going to win. I'm going to go crazy here. This team is close to being in the playoffs. They started the season two zero and one. They were one of my buy early teams, and then they got a little unlucky with the referees. Stafford gets hurt. Blah blah blah. This team is a big piece away. I like Isaiah Simmons from Clemson, the linebacker. This defense can turn it around. Matt Stafford's a winner. I like him. Greg, you got to keep him. No, I, I'm, I'm with Rob, and, and I think, for me, this has nothing to do with Matthew Stafford's inability to perform. Because, as you alluded to, he can perform, and he has put up tremendous numbers, uber stats. He has one of the livest arms in all of uh, quarterbacking in the National Football League. But I think he just needs a new look. Not only does the Detroit Lions, it hasn't worked out for them because they've only sold – sold all or been all in on the offensive side of the ball. They've never went both ways. And they you talk about Indomitian Sue. They had a stint where the defense was top was five. Really good. It was top five that year. It was really That's what I'm saying. You can't just not go to the defensive side. You need to do that. Fix that side of the football and everything will come together. You had Zeke Asa, and you had Damasu. After that, the defense went downhill. They had to fix that first. Good, and I feel like that was their greatest opportunity and window. And since then, the defense is just, you gave the numbers. Oh. A place where I feel like Dak or, or uh, Matthew Stafford would fit in, is in the same colors that he's wearing da in Dallas. Ooh. It would be, he has a live arm. Mark McCarthy knows Matthew Stafford very well. I'm not saying that this is what will happen, but it would be, it would be interesting to see if that would be something that Jerry Jones would pounce on. Well, you'd have to compete. Half the league will want Matt Stafford if he has Ab Absolutely. Another team. The New England Patriots. If you're going to walk away from Tom Brady or let Tom Brady walk away from you, you go and get a guy who's arguably out of all the available quarterbacks out there. We know the New England Patriots like to pluck, pluck guys from situations. They can go and get Matthew Stafford. How about Stafford. the New Orleans Saints? But, but here's the other thing, Drew Brees too. moves on. You bring even, in Stafford. Even when you talk about stats, and, and I covered the Lions. I mean, I was a columnist in Detroit at the, at the Detroit News, and I covered... If they do get opportunity to get Matthew Stafford, anyone in this league would like to have Matthew Stafford as their quarterback because his arm, his arm can get the job done. And that's what teams he's looking for, a quarterback with a nice arm. He probably need a new, new scenery. Everyone need a new change. Detroit probably need a change at that position. Matthew Stafford probably need a new change and maybe – he could do something there. Everyone probably need to get away from each other. Detroit been all in with him, but he probably just need a new scenery. If Belichick get a hold of Matthew Stafford, that would be nice pickup.
every road game for most of his career until I moved out here. And I saw, when you look at the stats, that's why I have a nickname. I call him Stat Padford. Because <laughs> you're, you're down, Greg. And, and arguably every game. Right? Yeah. You're down big. What happens... They let you throw the ball in front of them. You pile up these numbers. You don't get there. You don't win the game or whatever. But the numbers are there. And you go, wow, Stafford threw for 330 and four touchdowns. They lost because they were already down. And so a lot of the numbers, when you look at them, they're not when the game is, is being decided. And that's the problem. They, they always fall down early on. And you can say that's defensively. But even offensively, they're not scoring. They're not doing it. So a lot of the stuff comes after the fact. You think Matt Stafford's a top 15 quarterback in the league? Middle of the, yeah, top 15. Yeah. Because it's about winning. I always, what I always tell you, sports you, has a short you know? He's top 10 for me. Oh, Matt Stafford's definitely a top 10 quarterback. You're but, talking about so you just want to winning move doesn't, on Winning him. doesn't matter to you, does Listen, it? Listen, you can't. How can you be the first overall pick with no playoff wins after 11 it years? Look good, I get that. 11 you, you years, can't Greg? You win by yourself, Greg. Greg, have you won a division once? I mean, no. He has oh, What do you want him to do? You think you could go out there and do all he could play defense for him? Come on, man. You're killing Matt Stafford. Detroit guy Rob Parker. <laughs> I, get me worked up, folks. All right. Up next, Damian Lillard will be at All-Star Weekend. Just not the way you think. We'll give you all the details next. Damn time. <laughs> Being a person. Why you over the bed? Nigga, I gotta be safe. Gotcha, so